Davri Hayamim Shani, 2 Chronicles 6. Then said Shalomah, Yahuwah has said that he would dwell in the thick darkness. But I have built a house of habitation for you and a place for your dwelling forever. And the king turned at his face and blessed at the whole assembly of Yashadael. And all the assembly of Yashadael stood. And he said, Blessed be Yahuwah Elohai of Yashadael, who has with his hands fulfilled that which he spoke with his mouth to eth my father David, saying, Since the day that I brought forth eth my people out of the land of Mitzrayim, I chose no city among all the tribes of Yashadael to build a house in, that my name might be there, Neither chose I any man to be a ruler over my people, Yashadael. But I have chosen Yerushalayim, that my name might be there, and have chosen David to be over my people, Yashadael. Now it was in the heart of David, my father, to build a house for the name of Yahuwah Elohai, of Yashadael. But... Yahweh said to David, my father, For as much as it was in your heart to build a house for my name, you did well in that it was in your heart. Notwithstanding, you shall not build the house, but your son, which shall come forth out of your loins, he shall build the house for my name. Yahweh, therefore, has performed at his word that he has spoken, for I am risen up, in the room of David my father, and am set on the throne of Yashadael, as Yahuwah promised, and have built the house for the name of Yahuwah Elohai of Yashadael. And in it I have put at the ark wherein is the covenant of Yahuwah that he cut with the children of Yashadael. And he stood before the altar of Yahuwah in the presence of all the assembly of Yashadael and spread forth his hands. For Shalomah had made a brazen scaffold of five cubits long and five cubits broad and three cubits high and had set it in the midst of the court. And upon it he stood and kneeled down upon his knees before all the assembly of Yashadael, and spread forth his hands toward heaven, and said, O Yahuwah Elohai of Yashadael, there is no Elohim like you in the heavens nor in the earth, which guards the covenant, and shows mercy unto your servants that walk before you with all their hearts. You which have guarded with your servant David, my father, eth that which you have promised him, and spoke with your mouth, and have fulfilled it with your hand, as it is this day. Now therefore, O Yahuwah Elohai of Yashara'el, guard with your servant David, my father, eth that which you have promised him, saying, There shall not fail you a man in my sight to sit upon the throne of Yashadael. Yet so that your children take heed eth to their way to walk in my Torah, as you have walked before me. Now then, O Yahuwah Elohai of Yashadael, let your word be verified, which you have spoken unto your servant, David. But will Elohim in very deed dwelleth with men on the earth? Behold, the heavens and the heaven of heavens cannot contain you. How much less this house which I have built? Have respect, therefore, to the prayer of your servant and to his supplication, O Yahuwah Elohai. 
to hearken unto the cry and the prayer which your servant prays before you, that your eyes may be open upon this house day and night, upon the place whereof you have said that you would put your name there, to hearken unto the prayer which your servant prays toward this place. Hearken, therefore, unto the supplications of your servant and of your people, Yashara'el, which they shall make toward this place. Hear from your dwelling place, even from heaven, and when you hear, forgive. If a man sin against his neighbor, and an oath be laid upon him to make him swear, and the oath come before your altar in this house, then hear from heaven, and do, and judge at your servants, by requiting the wicked, by recompensing his way upon his own head, and by justifying the righteous, by giving him according to his righteousness. And if your people, Yashad El, be put to the worse before the enemy, because they have sinned against you, and shall return and confess at your name, and pray, and make supplication before you in this house, then hear from the heavens, and forgive the sin of your people, Yashara'el, and bring them again unto the land which you gave to them and to their fathers. When the heavens are shut up, and there is no rain, because they have sinned against you, yet, if they pray toward this place, and confess at your name, and turn from their sin, when you do afflict them, then hear from heaven, and forgive the sin of your servants, and of your people Yashara'el, when you have taught them the good way, wherein they should walk, and send rain upon your land, which you have given unto your people for an inheritance. If there be famine in the land, if there be pestilence, if there be blasting, or mildew, locusts, or caterpillars, if their enemies besiege them in the cities of their land, whatsoever sore or whatsoever sickness there may be, rather sickness there be, then what prayer or what supplication soever shall be made of any man or of all your people, Yashara'el, when everyone shall know his own sore and his own grief, and shall spread forth his hands in this house, then hear from heaven your dwelling place, and forgive, and render unto every man according unto all his ways, at whose heart you know, for you only know, at the hearts of the children of men, that they may fear you, to walk in your ways, so long as they live in the land which you gave unto our fathers. Moreover, concerning the stranger, which is not of your people, Yashara'el, but is come from a far country for your great name's sake and your mighty hand and your stretched out arm. If they come and pray in this house, then hear from the heavens, even from your dwelling place, and do according to all that the stranger calls to you for, that all people of the earth may know at your name and fear you, as do your people, Yashara'el, and may know that this house which I have built is called by your name. If your people go out to war against their enemies by the way that you shall send them, and they pray unto you toward this city which you have chosen, and the house which I have built for your name, then hear from the heavens eth their prayer, and eth their supplication, and maintain their cause. If they sin against you, 
for there is no man which sins not. And you be angry with them and deliver them over before their enemies. And they carry them away captives unto a land far off or near. Yet if they bethink themselves in the land whither they are carried captive and turn and pray unto you in the land of their captivity, saying, We have sinned, we have done amiss, and have dealt wickedly. If they return to you with all their heart and with all their soul in the land of their captivity, whither they have carried them captives, and pray toward their land, which you gave unto their fathers, and toward the city which you have chosen, and toward the house which I have built for your name. Then hear from the heavens, even from your dwelling place, eth their prayer, and eth their supplications, and maintain their cause, and forgive your people which have sinned against you. Now, my Elohim, let, I beseech you, your eyes be open, and let your ears be attent unto the prayer that is made in this place. Now, therefore, arise, O Yahweh, Elohim, into your resting place, you and the ark of your strength. Let your priests, O Yahweh, Elohim, be clothed with Yeshua, and let your chasid, rather chachid, rejoice in goodness. O Yahuwah Elohim, turn not away the face of your anointed. Remember the mercies of David, your servant. <laughs>